Hello, I'm a resident of the beautiful island of Oahu, and I just came out of the Public Utilities Commission public hearing at McKinley High School, and I thought it would be appropriate for me to share my experience because I am a peasant who doesn't know very much, and I feel as though there are a lot of peasants out there who are also a little confused like me, and I thought I should share my experience for those who weren't able to attend but wanted to. First of all, it is my opinion that it was a little confusing, and the confusion began actually with the location of the hearing itself. It was advertised that it was going to be at the McKinley High School cafeteria. However, it did move to the McKinley High School auditorium. There were no signs. I wish there were signs. I feel as though there are people who showed up to an empty cafeteria and dug out. So I'm here trying to separate facts from fiction because that was a lot to take in at this meeting, guys. It was awfully confusing. Why was it confusing? It was confusing because most of the people speaking their testimony were for the merge, the Hiko Next Era merge. Uh, however, I was under the strong impression that this is not a good move for the people of Hawaii because it would take the power away from Hawaii and there's so many reasons why this is a bad idea and I could go into more detail about that if y'all want, but that was the weird part, I gotta say. All the mass of people who were for the merge, I am for the merge, I am for the merge, I am for the merge. Is that really the voice of our people? I'm here trying to separate fact from fiction. So, is this fact or fiction? Does this multi-billion dollar company have a crew of folks who have a meeting just to strategize? on how to keep their company going, maximize profits, and expand? Did they premeditate the potential outcomes of this public hearing and maneuver around them? It's just hard to think that of all the resources they can afford, which are infinite, and given their goals that the thought never crossed their mind, Here's a fact. So Hawaii's Hiko would only comprise of one out of 900 percentage points of the massive Next Era Corporation's portfolio. So basically, Hawaii wouldn't be very important to them, relatively. Another fact, under Next Era's proposal for the next four years, any economic benefits will be going to their shareholders who all live thousands of miles away and might not understand how unique Hawaii is and how much we really care about our land, what it means to us. Here's a good one. The consumer advocate and other state officials have testified. They have testified that the next era proposal is not in the best interest for the people of Hawaii. Statistics. Next era utility business relies predominantly 68% on fossil gas. This involves fracking and as you may have heard, our planet's kind of in the middle of a global warming crisis, whether we know it or not the way things are going right now it's gonna be kind of sad guys for humanity but i mean hey what happens happens right anyway 68 percent is fossil gas and 23 percent of their utility business is nuclear energy which by the way they're investing billions of dollars on like many billions how many billions Lots of bill 20 billion to nuclear plants and 500 million dollars a year to fracking. 
anyway. 68% fossil gas, 23% nuclear energy, and less than 1% solar. And being that they're a company based in Florida with some of the biggest mass in our country, and given that just 1% they choose to utilize for solar is more than odd. It is suspect it's gravely suspect and scary man i laugh because it's easier to laugh than cry statement from next era they stated that hawaii's 2045 goal of having 100 percent renewable is um too aggressive. Too aggressive. 100% renewable energy is too aggressive, but drilling into the earth is not aggressive. Global warming and all that it entails isn't as aggressive. I mean, okay, I ended the quote, you know, but you know? So next era is like... Hmm. So this company is making... Uh, so this corporation is making all these big moves. $50 million here. $20 billion toward nuclear plants. Who's to say that's good? Was bad? You know, I wouldn't. But anyway, they're making all these big moves. And it's concerning because they bear none of the risks the risks fall upon their consumers which will be us and which is presently for them and their florida the floridians you know so to cut to the chase they don't care about hawaii keeping the money inside hawaii and you know whoever controls hawaii's utility is gonna control the future of hawaii who controls our energy and our water resources and our energy resources you know they're gonna run us and if they don't care about us it doesn't matter how we feel public owned utilities is an option we don't need to go to a private utility option and this is important to know and whatever happens we are an awesome people like i said unique oahu and it'll be okay but it'll be great if we made more moves toward what we want and spoke up for what we want or else they're gonna fill our mouths for us Thank you for listening to my video. I hope it was more informative than you expected. And if anyone has anything to say to make me less confused about the situation and more at ease, I highly encourage it. And cheers to everyone. I love you, Hawaii. And... Let's love each other, okay? Be strong and speak up for what we believe in. It's the only way we're going to get what we want in our hearts. Some things worth adding. First of all, I said that it was a public hearing, but technically... It was a public listening session. And also, I'll be happy to add some resources if you're interested of some nonprofit organizations who do care about people and care about Hawaii's future and about trees and about our keiki and our ohana in general. And I'd be happy to do that. And have a wonderful October and a safe 
and fun Halloween. If you're wondering, I'm on a wobbly chair. Thank you for listening to my long and professional video. It was my first one.